Southern fishing at its best, you can't beat Boston Harbor's winter flounder fishery. And when it comes to fun-loving hosts, you can't beat Pete Santini. There's a bag there. We're going flounder fishing. Go Bruins. Yeah, huh? Watch out! We're going to do it in six. Santini, who owns Fish and Fanatics, Bait and Tackle in Everett, Massachusetts, invited me to sample the harbor's flounder fishing with him and a group of friends aboard Vin Vitlizzi's 26-foot Hydra Sports, which he docks at East Boston's Shipyard Marina. After loading the bait and gear aboard, we headed into the harbor as the sun lit up the Boston skyline. We didn't have far to run as the first stop was the Deer Island Flats, right near Logan Airport and adjacent to the Deer Island Sewage Treatment Facility. The mud bottom flats off Deer Island lie in 10 to 20 feet of water and are loaded with flounder in the spring. The uh, flounder for the last 10 years, they started to come back. But the reason why they disappeared is because of this man right here, Adam Smith. He took it upon himself to make a mission to wipe out every flounder in the harbor, to feed his family, and put his kids through college. Right or wrong? And buy a Mercedes. And buy a Mercedes. And Mercedes. But thank, thank, we had some good luck and some good breeding, and now they're back. Hopefully, he learned his ways. And we'll catch him with a rod, not with a tub trawler or a, uh, or a drag, right? Right. Okay. Chocolate chicken. Chocolate chicken. Moon monkey. His terminal setup consists of a specially designed two-hook Zobo flounder rig. My buddy that just died joined the Cato. We, we, we made up this rig one day. I'm fishing out here. We decided that we put the, the weight in the middle. And it goes up and down. And it's like a seesaw action. So we needed to name it something. So uh, we, we ended up calling it the Zobo rig. Why? It's just one of those things. It's a catchy name. So when you go flounder, we call it... If, if you miss a flounder, Call it, you got Zoboed, but it works pretty well. It goes one, th it goes from side to side to the other, and a lot of times you catch two fish at once. Great rig. How do you do it, Pete? Grab the worm by the beak, you open its mouth, <laughs> put it right in there like this. See? And you just thread the worm up, nice and easy like that, all the way up, cover the hook like this, and then leave that hanging. Always want a piece of tail hanging. Piece of tail is always good. When the fishing is hot, the flats can get pretty crowded. Fishing nearby on this day was Santini's close friend, charter skipper Chuck DiStefano of the Skippadori. Oh, here we go. Finally, that's a real puller. That's a puller. Finally. Nice. There's something about fishing in the shadow of Boston that lends a special quality to the flounder fishing. Then, of course, there's the interesting tidbits of information dispensed by Santini himself. Bottom. Yeah, Once in a while, make sure, you're, make sure you're Sometimes holding Sometimes they'll go on top of it and just lay on top of it. And you'll, 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 the flounder will go on top of your worm and cover it from the other flounders. And it gets you stuck. Oh, come on. That's what they do. They cover it, they, they go over the worm and sit on top of them. I know that's just a fish tail. No, 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 that's true. They, 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 Have you seen them? I've seen them. I talk to them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it covered, it's called a cover up. <laughs> That's where the word cover up came from. Right? Exactly. The flounders <laughs> covering up uh, sea worms so other flounders wouldn't get it. That's the original. That's the original. That's not the, the origin of the term cover up. Cover up, right. Ah, I see. You learn something, something new every day with Pete Santee. I know. Chinese guys can fish good. Yeah, Chinese guys, 47 hooks on their line. Yeah, it's like, it's like a tub trawl on every hook. Hey, hey. They bought that from Slavin before they, they went bankrupt. There you go. On old Betsy. Old Betsy. Yeah. 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 Remember, folks, when you want to fish a flounder, a light tackle, not heavy stuff. Make the most of them. There we go.
we love Boston Harbor. Yes, we do. Boston Harbor, the water quality has cleaned up considerably over the last, uh, well, 20 years or so, right? It's been about 15 years. 15 yeah. years, and uh, 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 fittingly, we're catching flounder right in the shadow of the of the sewage treatment plant. Um, that's made a huge difference, hasn't it? Yeah, Tom, it sure has. I mean, uh, 15 years ago, this water was was pretty bad. It was, the you know, sewage used to come out right here. It the alpha raw water. sewage, right? Raw sewage, right? Yeah. And uh, th there was a lot of flounders back then, but they were all, you know, you couldn't eat them. Who wants to eat them with all the stuff on them? And now, uh, with the new plant here, the well. The, plant is 10 years old, the outfall pipe goes out nine and a half miles mm -hmm. and it's really cleaned up this harbor. It's been a model for the rest of the country. We have beautiful clean water in Boston Harbor. The fish are fine mm -hmm. and the, uh, there's plenty of flounder and they're everybody's fish. It's yeah. simple to get. We're on, out here on a nice calm uh, June day drifting around and having fun. Yeah, that's great. Now the winter flounder fishing in the harbor, uh, when would you say, what, what is prime time for that? The prime time is two months, two best months of May and June. But you can pick them up a uh, few in April and all the way into the middle of July. Mm -hmm. Then uh, after in July they start to go in, once it warms up they go into deeper water. We get them in the other island up like uh, Green Island and stuff in depths of 30, 40 feet. Mm -hmm. Right now we're fishing anywhere from 10 to 20 feet and we're just drifting uh, on, on these mud flats up the island here. Yeah, so it's the water water depth is uh, like 17 feet, but you say that you can find them usually around 12 to 20 yeah, feet 12, in the early season. 12 to 20 feet. It's 12 to 20, 25 feet where we need to get them. Yeah. And uh, I like to do what we're doing. If I can drift, a slow drift like this, I, I prefer it. You cover a lot more ground. And uh, flounder's a sight feeder, so the sunnier day, the better. They actually see better. Mm -hmm. I have While flounder are the main targets, they aren't the only creatures you'll catch on the flats. What is that? Gold Bruins. <laughs> It's a hat. <laughs> what is it? Piece what is that? Nice. The last scallop. So what we're trying to do here as we drift along this mud bottom is just let keep the rod tip low so you can tap bottom and feel the sinker hitting bottom every now and again. When a fish is eating the bait, you don't want to jerk the rod tip up really quickly. You want to wait until that fish sort of climbs on board that uh, on on the hook and as you feel them nibbling at it lift up real slow until you feel the weight of the fish and then set the hook with a slow easy upward lifting of the rod you can use just about any kind of gear for flounder fishing but most pros prefer light conventional or spinning reels matched to limber light tip rods Most of the fish we caught that day on the Deer Island Flats were 10 to 16 inches, but then Vin put us all to shame with a monster black back. It's hard to see him in the water, but see him? Hold on, yeah. can you leave him there? Yep. Oh hey, my Pete. God, Tom. Oh. Tom. That's, the biggest, that, that's the one you want to put on. Oh my God. Vinny, get over here. That's a winter flounder? Yeah, Vinny, come here. Wow, guys, now that is what they call a black back flounder. How much do you think that thing goes? Easy four pounds. Oh my gosh. Now, is that is that about the biggest you're going to get in this in the harbor? Believe it or not, to go bigger than this. Yeah, go well, 24 inches. Well, you, hey, Vin, you got the money fish, well, man. Congratulations. He <laughs> puts you on the fish. <laughs> the phone book with fins, yellow pages with fins. Look how fatty he is. Yeah, that's good. That'll yeah. feed a lot of people. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's nice. On that note, we headed back to the dock, our cooler packed with fresh flounder for the dinner table. Well, that's almost going to wrap up a perfect day of flounder fishing on Boston Harbor. We got one more task to complete, however. We got a pile of winter flounder to fillet. I'm here with Adam Smith, who's been fishing with us. And Adam, how many uh, winter flounder do you think you filleted in your lifetime? I, you couldn't count. <laughs> 40, 45 years worth. Okay. so. Let's put it this way. I'm going to let Adam handle this, uh, and we're going to see how he goes about uh, filleting these winter flounder. Step by step one. Okay, first cut. Second. That's one side. On the other side. The knife is way too dull. That's the problem. Can he breast on a duck that quick? <laughs> Faster. Faster. Pretty fast. 